All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I hope you're doing all right. I'm sorry about yesterday. I just, uh, I wasn't feeling too great. So we're going to catch up with Jacob now. Although I have utterly no clue as to uh, what this mission is going to be. Probably still tracking Benjamin Disraeli a little bit. What the hell is this? Is this just like a little tree parkway or some shit? What the hell did he trip on? Excuse me, sir. We need to have a talk. You'll regret that. go <laughs> were those rifles no it's like a it's like a wait hold on a second oh shit those are rifles oh hell okay Yeah, he, he's gonna need a bodyguard. Holy shit. Gold, uh. Goldred Cloak? So much for the house call. I have to find a way into that carriage. All right, down we go. Oh shit, no, I did not mean to do that, okay. All right, so this is good. Oh god. Oh god, some they turned around, really? Oh Jesus. I'm not trying to kill the Prime Minister, I swear. I may be slaughtering his entire security detail, but I swear to God, I swear to God, I'm not trying to kill the Prime Minister. Trait was the correct word. <gasps> What's the meaning of this? Who the devil are you? Prime Minister, I'm your new bodyguard, Jacob Fry. I wasn't informed of any new bodyguard. Who's your commanding officer? Let the boy speak, Dizzy. <laughs> Madam, apologies, but we've learned of a threat on your life. And the Met thought it best to move quickly. Threat? What sort of threat? <gasps> That sort. If you excuse me a moment. Okay. Oh shit. I think 
know, we went a little bit too far. Your Excellency. Hey, okay. Get back here with that Prime Minister. Get back here with that Prime Minister. Okay. Yeah. to safety. Gladstone, young man. I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large mustache. You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry. Okay, well, she's rather eccentric. <laughs> and I, if I, I'm sure I would not be mistaken in thinking that she was certainly flirting with him. That's the last mistake. Ooh. Well, it keeps telling me about that, uh, that ability point so let's uh put it somewhere if we can we got four okay, there we go there we go I'm gonna walk at Benjamin Disraeli's wife around Driving Miss Disraeli. Oh my god! <laughs> is that a. Is that a. Corgi? What the fuck? Get that dog out of that purse!
Madam? Mr. Fry? Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I am afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. <laughs> I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. Really? They named the, d the Corgi after the main character of the series after he's dead? Distract reporters. Uh, how do I... With, uh, with the nearby paper room. Where is the... Who is the paper girl? Ah! Hello, kid. Just like that. That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. There's a murder on the loose! Best lead them astray before they tear me to shreds. Uh, where, where am I taking them? Escape the jur- oh, just escape the journalists? Anticlimactic as shit. <laughs> Let's go. There, in the cart, it's the Prime Minister's wife. I oh, really God. must not be seen here, Mr. Fry. I mean, all you're really doing is taking a ride in the carriage. You're going somewhere with a driver. Keep moving. Let us avoid these vultures. Oh dear. What did I just run over? Oh my god. Never thought I'd get airtime with a carriage. Slow down. Is this it? Easy now. Who's a good horse? You are. <laughs> Not get detected by slum thugs. Place. Give me your arm, Mr. Fry. Let us see what the Devil's Acre has to offer. Okay. Two people fighting each other, but not actually facing each other? Okay. Alright, we have to go this way. What the hell? How, how do I, uh... Is your dog quite alright? Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Okay, okay, so don't get don't get close to people, is that the issue? Shut up, dog. Shut the fuck up. I swear to God. Quiet, Desmond. 
smoke? I will neuter you! Do you know this gentleman is a... Oh, it? Yes, a costomonger! <laughs> Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves, isn't it? Very Shall industrious, I'm sure. Shall we go? I thought that was the Eucharist! <laughs> But I'm we have so to go sorry. There. I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> Mrs. Disraeli. <laughs> Trying to whistle. Everything all right? Oh, yes. I've just learned to whistle. Right. Okay, she's kind of figuring it out. Why, Mr. Fry? I do believe that man is drunk. I expect oh, you're right, Mr. Madam. Fry, look at those two. Uh, I'm going to ask what he's having. Yes, they, uh, they seem to be, um... Perhaps you'd let me recommend twice, something Fry. instead. I'm fully aware of what they're doing. God bless them. Okay. Let's quickly get away from, uh... What sort of meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. <laughs> is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company. But another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are. Oh, dear the Lord. old one ton... Mm. So, this is a pint, is it? Huh? <laughs> Remarkable. <sighs> nice doggy. <sighs> Great. Excuse me, sir. He's a good this way. I uh, hear him. Hear him whispering to the dog. Good boy, Desmond. Hand over the mutt. You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I have just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. Yeah, that wasn't a smart idea. Well, if you never told your father how you felt about him, how was he supposed to know? <laughs> I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Mm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. I think we'd better get you home. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> Well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. Retrieve, do I just have to... It's, okay, escape with him. Keep moving. I mean, I could have just killed them all. Yeah. Walk on, girl. Well, I must thank you for a most energetic and enlightening evening, Mr. Fry. No, thank you, madam. Perhaps now you might tell me about the man in the Hussar's <laughs> uniform. Quite right. Lord Cardigan is the gentleman you seek. 
tiresome. That's the way. Always blathering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, do as it find happens. You. Campaigning against the corrupt practices bill. Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Oh, do be careful. That's a good the one. government could ill afford another scandal. I assure you, I'll be very discreet. Yeah, sure, like he always is. Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful. Thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> Oh, yes. Okay. So, one of the stranger missions in an Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> For sure. Alright, motion to impeach. Already heading out to kill the target now. But before we do that, I want to grab this. Cops on every corner. Excuse me, excuse me, sir. Wait, what? Was I in a kidnap zone? Uh, let's take a look at our ammo. Yeah, we're pretty good on everything. What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax, I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. Well, there we have it. All right, so we have a unique kill opportunity with the minister, corrupt policeman, stealth opportunity, and assistance opportunity with a politician. There's the unique kill over there. So getting to him is going to be a little bit more difficult. Or maybe not, depending on when the, where there are guards. Okay, so they're fairly spread out. Oh, God. No, the other way. What the fuck? I know how to identify points of interest game. Don't kill any policemen, don't get detected by the target. There he is. Unlocks a unique kill, steal Lord Cardigan's password. Hup. 
I need to find a place to get him alone. Or at least some way to stealth towards him. Thanks, Ahmed. How you doing, man? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? All right. Ah, uh, let's see. Corrupt policeman, easy entry into Parliament. Guards will move out of his way. Okay. Oh, it's a kidnap. Oh shit. Wait, where'd the? There he is. Well, I'm probably about to break the don't kill any policemen rule. Can I, can I? Oh God. Please, for the love of God, come over this way. Come over this way. Thank you, but please, can you there, you, fuck off. There you go, good job. No, come, come here. Come on. No, you bitch. Oh, that didn't work. I need you out of the way, sir. Very sorry for the inconvenience. Please be able to blend. Oh, can I blend? Man. I can blend. I'm so sorry. Gavin, oh, no, you mixed up that pamphlet again. You're I the Where the hell are you going? Oh. Just let me go, please. You're going to kill I'll me. Do anything you want. I'll not cower. Huh. Oh, quickly, quickly, quickly. Whoa! This is gonna be a clusterfuck immediately, isn't it? It's gonna be a massive clusterfuck. Isn't this exciting? What is the meaning of this? That life is fleeting. Look at him. A brief crack of light. Oh no! No no no! Son of a bitch! Can I? Can I just? Lava. Of course it bloody is. There any other Who's he hiding from? He's oh god. Oh shit. Teach this clotter lesson. He's looking dead at me. Well, time to go. Now, Bella Club is uh, kind of a hat. It's not, a, it's not the dessert, but I know what you're talking about. Speaking of which, I do fucking love Baklava. Get to drop, you idiot! Oh god. I need to find a way to kidnap him. Is it really kidnapping if you don't take them anywhere? Wouldn't that just be a hostage situation? Something fishy, just whatever it is, it needs you to come this way. There's no one out there, just your imagination. 
I just need to get inside. No need for this to get messy. All right, all right. Just don't hurt me. All right, sir. Excellent. Inside we go. What was he uh, for? I forget. I beg of you, let me live. Son of a bitch! Stop that this instant! Adiós. Come here, mate. <laughs> Can't defeat you all! I guess I really didn't need him after the after I got inside. Hey you, can we talk? Wait, I'll do what you want. Please. I'm right here. Where are you trying to go? Where do I need to follow you? Okay. Are you glitched? Pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddie Aberline of Scotland Yard. <laughs> Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Oh, yes, yes. It's uh, just this way. Follow me, Sergeant, but discreetly, if you would. One doesn't like to be seen airing a fellow member of Parliament's dirty linen. What? <laughs> I'll be very discreet. Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. Yeah, discreet. I've killed multiple people inside the Houses of Parliament, but discreet is what we're going to call it. Come on. Were you trying to get me to follow you? Oh, no. Please let me live. I don't want to die. Come 
He's gone. this like je good god who the bloody hell oh shut up should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. And you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia! Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick. That had to be the most dramatic fucking death I've ever seen. <laughs> is that way. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to go up. No! Shit! should be safe here. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, yeah, don't kill any policemen. I failed that immediately. Uh, do not get detected by the target. Didn't, good. Can't move up. Oh, there we go. Something's happening. You okay? Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend, put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! Blimey, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Otso Berg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. Okay, here we are. Sequence eight? Still okay? Or no, wait, wait that was seven we were just last time. Joys of Freedom. Okay, the search for Crawford Steric and the Peace of Eden continues uh, on its ever curving path, but Jacob still. He's still surprised when his actions attract attention of London's biggest criminal, mastermind Maxwell Roth. Interesting. A dinner invitation. And with whom are you dining this evening? Maxwell Roth. The leader of the Blighters? You're not going. Of course not. He just says, of course not, like it's a no-brainer. And it's really not. Because <laughs> we really have zero clue as to what he wants. And how much of an actual Templar he might be. Uh, let's start working on clearing this stuff out. So are we, which direction are we headed in? The opposite. Plus, I think... The mission is over this way. It is. Wait, where is the uh, fast travel spots? And the... all right, so I can go. Oh, that goes to Big Ben. And that's not really any closer to where we're going. Why'd I do that? Why didn't I aim properly? See, why'd I do that again? Just masochism. That's all it is. Go rescue some children. Excuse me, madam. Shut the hell up. Oh, 
that sucks. That's the first time I've gotten an alarm bell wrong. Salvation Army? My God! Kids, you're free to go. Look sharp. Thanks, Moxley. Get that bastard out of here! I've got a shot! Ring the dinner bell! We've got a guest! Got him! Go, kids. It's all right. Kid. Ready to go. Not very much. <laughs> Don't put him down. Put him down. Oh my fucking god. You're free to go. I'm right here. Thank you, sir. All right, we got that small corner of Westminster liberated. Excellent. Lovely. Okay, so when we return, I do believe we're going to go participate in some strange bedfellows. But until then, I thank you so very much for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw and you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.